you are so willing, please join me in prayer. Sovereign and awesome God, we gather here today in celebration of all that has been accomplished in these soon-to-be airmen and guardians. Lord, I acknowledge you in the process. You are there through every moment of their journey through the training. At every phase, you are there. You have seen their hard work, their dedication, you have seen their struggles, and yes, their tears. They have accomplished much over the past several weeks, and we celebrate with them today. May this moment be forever etched in their memories and in their spirits. Whenever they feel they cannot overcome an obstacle, may they remember this day. Whenever they believe themselves not able to be up to the task asked of them, may they remember this day. Whenever they think they cannot press through and whatever challenges may come their way, may they remember this day. May they remember how they struggle. May they remember how they push through, not alone, but with their teammates, knowing that no task is too hard that they cannot see it through. And most of all, may they remember how they prevailed. Gracious God, I thank you for each of those who are standing before us this day. We celebrate with them. It is in your name that I offer this prayer of thanksgiving. All that agree, say amen. Amen.
not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 737th Training Group is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Master Sergeant Cardona will now come forward and address our graduating class. At this part of the ceremony, the military training instructors will distribute the Venerable Airman's coin and for the first time, distinct Space Force coins to our Space Force graduates. The lore of military coins has many colorful suspected origins. However, a popular story stems from World War I, where American volunteers formed flying squadrons in France during the Great War. One of the volunteers was a wealthy lieutenant who took great pride in his service and had medallions cast in bronze with his squadron's emblem on them. He gave those medallions to every member of his unit. Not long after, one of the pilots was shot down behind enemy lines and was captured by a German patrol. The German forces confiscated the pilot's possessions except for the pilot's medallion that he wore around his neck. While in confinement in a small French village, the captured pilot took advantage of a nighttime bombardment by the Allies. 
He donned civilian clothes and escaped after crossing the front lines to safety. He came across a French outpost where he was initially thought to be a saboteur until he showed them his unit coin. The French forces recognized the unit emblem and instead of any harsher treatment, he received a bottle of wine. Today, several military units have developed their own coins and specific rules for them. Many organizations give out their unit coins to recognize outstanding performances and achievements. The coins the airmen and space professionals receive today are unique in that they originate here at the gateway to the Air Force and are only given to those who complete this rigorous course of instruction. On one side of the airman's coin, the original emblem of the Air Force resides as envisioned by General Henry Hap Arnold, one of the first military aviators and later commander of the Army Air Forces in World War II. Beneath the emblem, the year 1947, the birth date of the United States Air Force, and around the rim of the coin, the core values of the Air Force, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Inscribed on the other side of the coin is the newly recognized emblem of the Air Force, a symbol that honors the heritage of our past and represents the promise of our future. The emblem retains the core elements of the Henry Hap Arnold emblem, the Arnold wings, and the star within a circle. The modern effect of the emblem reflects our air and space force today and into the future. Inscribed in a half circle above the contemporary Air Force emblem is the Air Force motto, Aim High, Fly, Fight, Win. And on the border of the coin, a reminder to all who see this is inscribed, awarded on the occasion of becoming an airman in the world's greatest air force. The space professional coin also has a distinctive design. On one side, it displays the original emblem of the space force, the Delta, which was first used by space units in 1961 and honors the heritage of the United States Space Force. Beneath the emblem is the year 2019, the birth date of the United States Space Force. Inscribed on the other side of the coin is the Space Force motto, Semper Supra, which translates to always above. This represents the Space Force's role in establishing, maintaining, and preserving our nation's dominance and freedom of operations in the space domain. On the coin's border is a commemorative inscription that reads, awarded on the occasion of becoming a charter member of the United States Space Force.
Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Smith will now come forward and address our graduating class. Leads us through the Airman's Creed. 
Instructors, place your flights at attention.
The flag stands for peace, honor, truth, justice, and freedom. In the armed forces of the United States, during the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle fold, and kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out at the ceremony of Reveille. The flag has been torn to strips, used as bandages for wounded combatants on the battlefield. It has been placed in the trembling arms of a grieving parent at the grave of their fallen son or daughter. It is flown at half-staff to honor our military members. The flag has flown in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. It has flown at Valley Forge, Shiloh, and Gettysburg. It was there at San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, in the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, on the beaches of Normandy. It was waved at Okinawa, Korea, Vietnam, Somalia, Kuwait, Iraq, and in Afghanistan. The flag has been burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries that America has helped set free. Yet, it remains invincible.
Oh, <laughs> 